Hi everyone, this is Irish from PDMG, and today we're going to talk about Consumer Product Safety Commission requirements on Amazon. Let's begin. Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC, protects the public from unreasonable risk of serious injury or death from thousands of types of consumer products under its jurisdiction, including products that pose a fire, electrical, chemical, or mechanical hazard, or can injure children. Amazon requires all third-party sellers or vendors to follow all federal, state, and local laws as well as Amazon's policies pertaining to these type of products. Children's Products Children's products are consumer products that are designed and marketed for children 12 and younger. Federal law requires that all children's products that are subject to one or more federal consumer product safety requirements be tested by a CPSC-accepted laboratory for compliance to the applicable federal children's product safety requirements. These requirements include, but are not limited to, physical and mechanical testing, chemical testing, product and product packaging labeling, and warning and hazard labeling. The following information may be requested by Amazon at any time. Your company name and seller ID, your contact information, a list of all children's products you sell on Amazon, images of the product and its packaging. This must include all sides of the product and its packaging. Amazon will review these images. Product images or test report as evidence of compliance with registration card requirement 16 CFR Part 1130 as applicable. Product images or test report as evidence of compliance with mandatory tracking label requirements, CPSA Section 14A5. Product images or test report as evidence of compliance with warning and hazard label requirements as applicable. All product instructions or manuals for the products you sell on Amazon. A children's product certificate or CPC from the domestic manufacturer or importer for the ASINs that you are applying to sell. Test reports from a CPSC accepted testing laboratory approved to test to the relevant requirements that confirm each product was tested to the applicable mandatory or voluntary standards and regulations. Small batch manufacturers. Small batch manufacturers or SBMs that are registered with the CPSC can obtain relief from certain third party testing requirements for children's products. If you're a registered SBM, Amazon requires that you provide documentation that clearly identifies your registration information to allow your status to be taken into consideration during review of your compliance submission. More information regarding SBMs and third-party testing is available from the CPSC. Amazon's policy requires all SBMs to clearly list their registration information on their CPC. General Use or Non-Children's Products Federal law requires that certain general use or non-children's products that are subject to a federal consumer product safety requirement be certified based on a test report for each product or a reasonable testing program for compliance with applicable consumer product safety requirements. Unlike children's products, the testing or reasonable testing program for general use or non-children's products is not required to utilize a CPSC accepted laboratory. Amazon's policy requires that general use or non-children's products be tested by an ISO or IEC 17025 accredited testing laboratory appropriately accredited to test to the applicable product requirements. These requirements include, but are not limited to, physical and mechanical testing, chemical testing, product and product packaging labeling, and warning and hazard labeling. Amazon's policy requires the following information for all general use or non-children's products that you are selling. Your company name and seller ID, your contact information, a list of all general use or non-children's products that you offer on Amazon, images of the product and its packaging. This must include all sides of the product and its packaging. Amazon will review these images. All product instructions or manuals for the products you sell on Amazon. General Certificate of Conformity or GCC from the domestic manufacturer or importer for the ASINs that you are applying to list. Test reports from an ISO 17025 accredited testing laboratory approved to test to the relevant requirements that confirm that each product was tested to the applicable mandatory or voluntary standards and regulations. Where can I get my products tested? Testing reports provided as part of your compliance submission to Amazon must be from independent third-party testing laboratories. For children's products, federal law requires that testing be conducted by a CPSC-accepted testing laboratory that is accredited to perform testing to the applicable testing scope. For general use, non-children's products, 
Amazon's policy requires that testing be conducted by an ISO or IEC 17025 accredited testing laboratory appropriately accredited to perform testing to the applicable testing scope. For children's products, the CPSC has posted the list of CPSC accepted testing labs. For general use, non-children's products, testing does not need to be conducted by a CPSC accepted lab, but per Amazon's policy, it must be conducted by an ISO or IEC 17025 accredited testing laboratory. Packaging Requirements Federal law requires that certain household substances be packaged in child-resistant packaging. The packaging required by the Poison Prevention Packaging Act, or PPPA, must be designed or constructed to be very difficult for children under 5 years of age to open within a reasonable time and not difficult for normal adults to use properly. Amazon's policy requires that PPPA-regulated products be tested by an ISO or IEC 17025 accredited testing laboratory appropriately accredited to test to 16 CFR Part 1700. Amazon's policy requires the following information and documents for all general use or non-children's products that you are selling. Your company name and seller ID, your contact information, a list of all PPPA-regulated products that you sell on Amazon, images of the product and its packaging, this must include all sides of the product and its packaging. All product instructions or manuals for the products you sell on Amazon. General Certificate of Conformity or GCC from the domestic manufacturer or importer for the ASINs that you are applying to offer on Amazon. Test reports from an ISO 17025 accredited testing laboratory appropriately accredited to test the relevant requirements that confirm each product was tested in conformity with 16 CFR Part 1700. Labeling Requirements Certain products regulated by the CPSC have labeling requirements that must be met. These requirements vary by product type. Tracking labels. All children's products must have distinguishing permanent marks, known as tracking labels, that are permanently affixed to the product and the product's packaging in a visible location with legible font and must provide certain identifying information. Please see tracking label requirements for children's products for more information. Mandatory warnings and registration cards for durable infant products. Durable infant and toddler products require additional product and outer package labeling as well as consumer registration card. Please see product and outer package labeling as well as consumer registration card for more information. Warning labels and instructions. Many consumer products require specific hazard labeling to inform consumers of potential hazards should products be misused. For example, toys or games that are intended for use by children ages 3 years to 6 years are required under the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act or CPSIA to include cautionary statements that warn consumers of potential choking hazards. Other warning labels can include precautionary language, including, but not limited to, instructions on how to properly use a product, instructions to avoid specific hazard conditions, or advisement on what the product is and is not intended for. Some CPSC regulations also require that relevant cautionary statements appear in a product's instructions, in addition to the on-product and outer package labeling. Per the CPSC's guidelines, children's products must include tracking and warning labels as applicable. CPSC has mandated specific labeling requirements for some products, such as durable infant products, children's bike helmets, and mattresses. Certain products like mattresses, bedding, and furniture must also have labels required by state law. You are required to label your products to meet all requirements. For general use or non-children's products, the CPSC does not require tracking information to be affixed to the product. Other information may apply to your product, including, but not limited to, country of origin, distributor or manufacturer statement, lot code or number. Please work with your supplier, manufacturer, legal representative, and regulatory consultant directly to ensure that your products meet all applicable local, state, and federal requirements. Impermissible CPSC Certified Verbiage and Imagery The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is a federal agency that develops and enforces certain consumer product safety standards. The CPSC does not test, certify, or approve products. Accordingly, product detail pages must not contain language or photos that state or imply that the CPSC has approved or certified a product. Examples of CPSC-related phrases that are not permitted on Amazon ASTM and CPSC Tested and Certified CPSC Tested and Certified ASTM and CPSC Certified CPSC Certified CPSC Approved Examples of CPSC images that are not permitted on Amazon Example of CPSC-related phrases that are permissible on Amazon Tested for compliance by a CPSC-accepted laboratory 
meets or exceeds all safety standards set by the CPSC, meets CPSC safety requirements, complies with CPSIA or CPSC standards. And that is all for today about Consumer Product Safety Commission requirements on Amazon. I hope you found this helpful, and if you'd like to learn more about Amazon, please check out our previous videos or visit our website. Links are provided in the description box. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you.